Good, oh, I almost said good afternoon. It's actually evening. It's close to 6 o'clock. Um, it's May 2nd. Hey, we made it to May. Not bad, considering what April was like. April, probably not one of the most stellar months we've ever had. Um, I know it wasn't for me. But hopefully, May will get better. Uh, I put on social media earlier today, a question just said, is there a piece of... Uh, work that I've done, short story uh, book that I haven't done a video for yet that somebody would like to hear a short reading from. A couple of people answered. Uh, one of them was for this particular anthology, which was the um, Butt Pirates in Space anthology, which I believe we wrote in 2012, got published in 2013. Uh, it came about from the first uh, trip to Atlanticon with a bunch of other authors who said, hey, let's do this anthology, and we actually did. I remember when I... Um, told my husband about it and he just looked at me and said, what is wrong with you? That's been his nickname for me for like 25 years and he still hasn't figured it out. So you know what, that uh, the degree of his in psychology really done him well. Anyway, uh, I was trying to remember what I could about this particular story having written it eight years ago and what I remember is fuck all. I know I wrote it, my name's on it. Uh, I think I was going for a Galeus feel in terms of banter between the two characters. Uh, we've got Chase and Jaden. Uh, Chase, uh, his grandmother invented technology that allows them when they die to for have their consciousness transferred from one body to the next. So they've been around for a couple hundred years. They've been married for a couple hundred years. They can stand each other a little bit at a time, um, but they tend to bicker an awful lot. Uh, in this particular story, and there were supposed to be other stories that followed this that just didn't happen yet. I've actually got three books in mind if I ever get around to writing them, which I, could happen, I'm hoping. Um, in this partic particular story, they are on a space station and they are trying to get something from somebody to turn it over to somebody else in order to get paid for it so they can uh, get funding for their future ship that they're trying to build. So that's about as much plot as you're going to get from a story like this. Uh, but the two of them, they're being helped by a security guard named Saunders, and they are trying. They had to knock out a guard, and they're trying to uh, get that guard to basically forget the entire incident of getting caught. And uh, Jaden is always thinking that Chase's grandmother's trying to kill him, so he uses this little gadget that the grandmother had given him. Where we pick up this particular part of the story. Hold on, Jason stared at the guard on the floor. The man started twitching, but the expression on his unconscious face was anything but pleasurable. This isn't right. He double-checked to make sure the setting was indeed the first level, then decided to err on the side of caution and turn it off, only it wouldn't shut down. Okay. His brow furrowed in frustration while he struggled to get the instrument to power down, then gave up. Screw it. He carefully grabbed both sides and tried to gently lift it, which would sever the connection. The manual warned against doing that, but there really wasn't much of a choice. However, the gadget refused to budge. What the hell? What? Chase asked, annoyed. The neurogasm's power hum slowly turned into a whine and then high-pitched screech. What happened next made Jaden's eyes grow very large, very quickly. Oh, fuck! He reached over and toppled Chase to the ground just as the servant's head exploded and covered the walls, and Saunders in a nasty, wet, brain-drenched goo. What? Chase stared up at him, still clearly annoyed, wondering what his partner was doing on top of him in front of someone else, and obviously oblivious as to what had just happened. His eyes and ears were bleeding, then his head exploded, that's what? And you're sure you had it on the lowest setting? Saunders asked with just a hint of sarcasm, while taking his uniform jacket off and wiping his face with the inside. Of course I'm sure. Unlike him, he gestured to Chase, I actually read instructions. Unfortunately, there was a cute little non-factory installed failsafe that dug in and bonded itself to his head the moment the device was turned on and wasn't about to come off unless it removed part of his skull. And where exactly did you get that death trap piece of shit? Chase fully expected to be able to lecture him for buying from questionable sellers, which wasn't the first time. It was a gift from your grandmother last week on my birthday. Or not. She's not trying to kill you. Really, Jaden started, unconvinced. I guess it's a good thing you look enough like this guy did to pass for him, Sanders piped up. Why? Chase didn't see the logic behind the statement. And then he did. No, absolutely not. Plan D? Jaden asked. I'm en route and should be at his quarters in three minutes, Chase informed them over comms through gritted teeth, and I cannot believe you made me waste my last melty suit on servants' costumes. It feels so ghetto. I'll order you another. 
Now, Saunders and I had to relocate to another security station and currently have cleaner bots getting rid of the evidence of the previous one. We should be good for the next security sweep, plus a little extra in case we have any trouble. And for the record, I hate you. I hate both of you. I'm the one who's supposed to come up with the plans. You're the ones who's supposed to go and make sure they happen. And you, he referred to Saunders, are paid to be the one who takes risks, not me. You're doing fine, sweetie, Jaden tried to put his partner's mind at ease. This will be a cakewalk. You'll see. You just have to get his attention by flattering him a bit, then tease him with some suggestive talk. It's all in the anticipation. If you do it right, he'll be putting your paws and doing anything you want him to. That'll allow the Loganite all the time she needs to do her thing. How do you know flattery and teasing will work? And don't even tell me it's what you use on me because... A long pause followed. Fuck, it is what you use on me, isn't it? Just remember what you always used to tell me, okay? Remember the mission and keep your eye on the ball. Balls, Saunders corrected. Balls, keep your eye on the balls. His balls. Oh, ha ha, you're so funny. I'm amazed more people haven't tried tracking you down and killing you over the years. Oh, wait, they have. Actually, Saunders switched on the security station monitors and began keeping track of patrols in the area. I'm amazed at how calm, collected, and PC you're being with him right now, considering how the two of you were earlier. I adapt. He needs me to be nice right now, and as tempting as it is to be snarky, I'm really trying hard not to be that guy, Jaden admitted. Which guy? That guy. The guy who does things like that. That guy? Sanders, confused, pointed to someone passing by on one of the monitors. God, I really hate this century, Jaden said. Nobody ever knows what the hell I'm talking about. No, not that guy. That guy. Okay, which guy don't you want to be? The guy I just mentioned. And he's where? Everywhere. He's everywhere? Which is exactly why I don't want to be him. Because he's everywhere. Pretty much. Then it wouldn't be unique. You're a fucking moron, Chase all but shouted at the top of his lungs. So, a lot of banter. Um, a little hard to follow if you're just listening to the voice, uh, especially because I don't think I do a particularly great job of differentiating voices. But it was a fun story. I'm hoping that over the next, well, maybe sometime this year, I'm going to take all the stories from the anthologies, which are now out of print. Unless you want. Somebody had them on Amazon for about $900, which cracks me up because... <sighs> I'm, I'll stand behind my work. I'm just not sure my work is worth $900, but I'd like to put them all into a collection uh, and get them out there for folks to read. There's a little bit of editing I'd like to do on there. I've learned quite a few things since 2012, 2013, but it was a fun story. Um, it was the first of the anthologies. I believe I posted a video for Button Ninjas from Hell, which had my story Twink Ninja Tiger, Flax and Buns of Fury, which I'm sorry, that's my favorite title. That, that was a fun one. Um, so if you like, leave a comment. Otherwise, I will try and get a video out um, maybe next weekend, and I will see you then. Have a good night.